There have been some pretty impressive tumbling passes performed by women on the floor exercise over the years. Vanessa Atler's sky-high double layout combo or Ali Reisman's iconic first pass are just a few examples of the most outstanding pieces of gymnastics ever performed. But one incredibly difficult yet often underappreciated tumbling run was performed by Canadian gymnast Ellie Black in 2012 and 2013, which led to the creation of a new connection formula in the code of points. Ten years ago, Ellie used to open her floor routines with a massive combo, a layout step out with two and a half twists indirectly connected to a triple twist. The indirect connection of a D and an E level skill gave Black a point two connection bonus. This also allowed her to have only three passes in her floor routine instead of the typical four as she had enough difficulty with just the three. Many gymnasts perform a one and a half twist in the first part of the tumbling run but the Canadian athlete took it to the next level by adding an extra full twist. While most who perform the one and a half only need a round off to create momentum, Ellie performed a round off back handspring to generate the proper height to execute the two and a half. The fact that she only took one or two steps into it speaks volumes on how powerful a gymnast she is. Unfortunately, this tumbling pass kind of flew under the radar for many people at the time and did not get the recognition it deserved. Ellie was relatively new to the international scene as she had only turned senior in 2012. Based on this performance, the 2013 code introduced a new indirect acrobatic formula, a D plus D worth a .2 bonus. At the time, it even sparked some criticism as many believed Black's remarkably difficult pass deserved a .3 bonus. However, the code only rewards a maximum of 0.1 or 0.2 tenths for the connection of two skills. As the years went on, Ellie eventually switched the triple twist for a double tuck or pike. Even though both scales are valued one tenth lower, it gave her the same connection bonus, was easier to stick, and there was less room for twisting deductions. Nonetheless, it's fair to say the three-time Commonwealth Games champion pushed the boundaries of the sport and went on to become one of the most successful Canadian female gymnasts of all time.